Honey Honey shines from its very beginning, in which every instrument we are going to hear over the next three minutes push the speakers outwards abruptly. To many ABBA detractors, this song that was an enormous hit in Germany in 1974, almost as successful as Waterloo, was their finest example when the time would arrive to rant against the ABBA edulcorated pop, evident here in its very title. Of course, those detractors didn't bear in mind the melodic structure or the arrangements, as always. The song is structured in a way which reminisces a main musical. This result is obtained by the union of several little and different vocal melodies. One of the melodies is used to portray the desire toward the boy, another one is used to say everything that he produces on the girl, and everything that is said about him. And another melody now to let him express what he thinks about his obsession. Sadly, the boy seems to be in another world, not very keen in going down to attend the prayers. Agnes and Frida don't get down at all. I'm gonna stick to you, boy. You'll never get rid of me, they warn, making a strong contrast between their sweet voices and their warning message. Frida remembered about the whispering voice the falsetto with which she and Agneta sang all through Honey Honey. I remember that Agneta and I tried to sound a little sexy when we recorded the vocals. I'm not sure that we succeed. That constant falsetto wouldn't be repeated in the rest of ABBA careers. The production shows the best of the ABBA tradition. The musical background is painted by hundreds of colors from acoustic guitars on which a joyful bass bass jumps. To add still more strings, a minimalist orchestra adds long chords and Benny Smoke and Mellotron imitate this orchestra in terms of melody and timbre, displaying, even in this early era, his ambition of piercing other instruments on his way. main differences with the Swedish version. In the Swedish version, the girl's falsetto is weaker. Agneta and Frida's whispering during Bjorn's solo part occurs during the repetition of that part, played by Benny Synth as well. The whispering reappearance doesn't occur in the English version. There are subtle differences in the position of the instruments in each channel, left and right. 